Welcome to the Hydraulic Press channel. Today we have great safety experiment. We are going to see how bad idea is it to watch hydraulic press action without safety glasses. And today's video is sponsored by Incogni, but more about that later. And there is our brave watermelon guy from last time. He has gotten a bit more stupid. He only has hearing protection, but no safety glasses at all. And I think that's going to bite him in the, not ass, but into eyes. So we are going to slowly start to ramp things up. We start quite easily with playing cards. Oh, this already looks bad. The viewing place for the guy is not optimal when he doesn't choose to wear safety glasses. Yeah, but the playing cards going to start the mayhem and then probably big ass ball bearing is going to end all. <laughs> At least for the watermelon guy. Oh my god! Okay, let's open the box. I hope that the eyes are still intact. Okay, here is the brave watermelon guy. And there is light hole here. But it's hard to say did it come from the heat or bouncing around inside the box. So let's have a look on the high speed. Oh no, it works, it works. I was worried that it just like flies up before like anything happens, but the shrapnel is way faster than the bounce. So there is like hit to the left eye. Pretty mean hit, but I'm not sure is there any damage on that part. Let's go have a look. It should be like, oh my God. Yeah, there is a lot of damage, but not on the eye. So if we would be in if that would hit the eye, then it would be totally gone. Okay, we decided to escalate this quite quickly. Ball bearings, three of them. These are quite small, but we can go bigger. And I think the size doesn't matter here, because already this is going to sink into the watermelon and especially into the eyes. And with three bearings, we have three times the shrapnel. So I cannot see how the eyes are going to survive. Woo! Oh. Full speed, full speed. Oh. Is he extremely lucky or what? <laughs> Is it that crease or did he get hit? I'm going to look from the high speed. There is definitely... Oh! Oh no! <laughs> but it was like a round... Yeah, a round side. Round side. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, that... Ooh, that was close. Oh, oh, and then the ball. Oh, there is some shrapnel. Yeah, that, that yeah, definitely that... hit the, uh, the, that thing. Yeah. Is there still more or was, was it all? <laughs> the balls are bouncing there at the back. No, I think that was... <laughs> that was oh, 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 no, there, there, is there is more, coming. there is more. Oh, you think that would be like hard hit. I think that was that all. Was. Okay, check out this. This looks bad. It's terrible. And that has really thick outer ring. So that's going to generate some really nasty shrapnel. Yeah, close the box and here we go. Oh, that's, that's, that's going to be bad hit. Oh my! Oh! Oh! Oh my God! <laughs> that was a quite a effect. Oh my god, let's have a look. That was so terrible. Oh, oh. oh no. Oh, oh, it went in. Oh, oh no, it's in. It's in him. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
What the hell? Ooh, I did it. You never no. would know that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. After that, you are not blind. You have other problems. <laughs> yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure. Would safety glasses solve this problem? <laughs> oh no! That was. That was. Oh, you never. You never would know that. Oh my god, I think you can see it there. Let's have a look, let's have a look. Hey, do we have like a long, like, pick there? I definitely see it there. How about the eyes? Yeah, that's The eyes are fine. Oh, no, is it is this? Yeah, that's good, that's good. Check this. Mm. Oh, they touch the eye. Oh, I, I need to touch the eye. <laughs> I go get better yeah, instrument. Better okay, YouTube, Doctor Laura. Mm. <laughs> oh my! Oh, oh! <laughs> <laughs> That's a quite big shrapnel in your eye. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think this is the worst hydraulic press channel simulated injury ever. I think so. Too. Yeah, definitely uh, wear safety glasses, but don't do this. The safety glasses won't help. Yeah. For this, you need the like ballistic safety box that we use. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> oh my god. But now, more about today's sponsor, Incogni. And the timing is great. I just got real mad today for one mobile app that I had to install and give my personal information like email address, uh, real address, name, stuff like that. Hanna, wasn't I pretty angry for yes, that? Yes, you yeah. were very, very angry. Very, very angry for mobile app. And you cannot even flush a toilet nowadays without giving that information. And have you ever wondered where all that goes? Not the stuff in the toilet, that's an other story, but the, your personal data that you give to mobile apps, web questionnaires, whatever. Quite often there is small text that says that they give that to third parties, and sometimes those third parties are data brokers that actually sell your data. So after I have given my address to that freaking mobile app, I probably now start to get spam emails or they start to even call me after that. You have probably experienced that also. And for people like me, it's extra annoying because I have to answer my phone even if the number is weird because my customers keep calling me. So I have to listen to their spam calls and of course I get a lot of spam email and there's probably many persons that have the same experience. But luckily today's sponsor, Incogni, helps you to remove your data from those data broker sites. And of course they save and record all other things also that you do in the internet, not just what you type in, so they know what you are interested for targeted ads and whole lot else. So go to incogni.com slash hydraulic press and use code hydraulic press to get an exclusive offer of 60% off. That's incogni.com slash hydraulic press and use code hydraulic press. Or click the link below to take your personal data off the market. Okay, check out this. I put a big ass ball in and the melon is now even closer. And I'm not completely sure will the ball even explode. That's a, that's a so large ball bearing. It's just about on the line can we crush it, but if it explodes, then we surely popped eyes. There is no way that his good luck keeps on. Or I'm not sure how lucky he was on the last go, but the eyes were at least lucky. So close the box and here we go. That was love.
I think we start to uh, like unravel this thing by the high speed camera, but that was terrifying hit. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it seems that we hit the ice this time. There is clearly some. <laughs> some uh, sparks there. Yeah, but was it so small that. That did it do like anything? Yeah, I think we have to. We have to like uh, try to find the eyes. Okay, I thought that it would be easier to film here. First, here is the leftovers of the. Of the yeah, that leave a quite dent on the hardness steel tool that we use for this. And then I think the eyes are just unpoppable. That's a word. Uh, can you give the, uh, uh, the we hit it? Because there isn't much at all on them, only like very minor stuff. But then again, like next to the eye and what we have here. Is there anything? There's clearly like hole here, but how deep it has gone. Yeah, can you hear that? That's the sound of. Okay, this needs like a bit more intrusive operation. Oh! Oh my god, that's not optimal. That's not optimal. <laughs> if it's like next to eye. Almost as big as the whole eye. Yeah, it was just like next to the eye. But, um, yeah. Like I would say the conclusion is that you have to be really unlucky to get hit into the eye. <laughs> At least if your name is Watermelon Kai. <laughs> but the hits that you are going to experience, that are terrifying. Mm -hmm. So, I think this is like, like half wear safety glasses, or like 10% wear safety glasses, and 90% of don't try this at home. <laughs> <laughs> the safety glasses don't help with this. Yeah, but I think that's like more than enough of mayhem for one video. <coughs> I have... <coughs> I have more hardened steel mayhem coming on future videos. So if you like this, subscribe to the channel. And that is all for today. Thank you for watching and have a nice day.